The one thing I've noticed with Netflix is that they'll buy a television series off another uh, producing company and then they'll turn it woke and unwatchable. Now, it's in trouble in Egypt, of all places, because a local lawyer called Mahmoud al Semeri has filed a lawsuit against them because they've cast a black actress to depict Cleopatra. And he has accused them of erasing the Egyptian identity. And he's also asked the court to take legal action against Netflix and block them from streaming in Egypt. And you know what? I hope he's successful. I really do. Now, according to historians and uh, professors, they reckon Cleopatra was of Macedonian descent and had little, if any, Egyptian blood in her. They also reckon she had either dark blonde or auburn hair with deep blue eyes. And there have been mummified remains dug up in Egypt of royalty and some of them do indeed have auburn hair. So why do we think that Netflix have done this? And it isn't alone in doing this because the BBC, of course, have a history of doing this. They have depicted uh, Caucasian, Western, historical and cultural characters using actors and actresses with the completely wrong uh, ethnicity. So Caucasian historical characters such as Julius Caesar, Joan of Arc, Margaret of Anjou, Anne Boleyn... Robert de Beaumont and others have all been cast by these companies with non-Caucasian actors and actresses. And to me, this is cultural appropriation. Can you imagine the fuss if famous black and historical black people were depicted as, as white, such as Nelson Mandela, Shaka Zulu, Rosa Parks, President Obama, Gary Lineker? Can you imagine if white actors and actresses uh, played these people on screen? Uh, The Western world will be in flames and they'll be shouting cultural appropriation from the rooftops. And it's effectively a a theft of Caucasian history and culture. It's history and culture that belongs to us, just as their history and culture belongs to them. And both are interesting and unique, so, you know, there's no need to spread this uh, misinformation by mis-ethnicitizing, if that's a word. (laughs) If it's not, I've just coined it. Historical people and events, there's no need for it. But again, as always, it's okay when they do it, isn't it? So I hope this solicitor in Egypt is uh, successful in his lawsuit. And I hope companies like Netflix don't do this sort of crap again. And there we go, that's my video. Hope you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next time... Roger Trout.